Hey guys, welcome to How to Play Flesh and Blood Online Part 2. I'm going to be today showing you the other way to play Flesh and Blood Online, and this is using Talisha. Um, it's a completely free website, fan made. Um, you don't need to buy anything, download anything, it's just completely through your web browser. Um, and I'm just going to be showing you how to use it today. So, let's go straight in. So, first thing you're going to need is you're going to need fabdb.net to get your deck list. So you're going to need to create an account, then you're going to need to create your deck. I already have a bunch of decks, I don't actually need that one. Um, I already have a bunch of decks, but if you don't know how to create a deck, you just click the new one over here. And then you will click on your hero that you are using for the deck that you're making. And then you will simply just build your deck in this deck builder. So you just type in the cards that you're putting in. And then just add them using the plus sign. You can filter by weapon, equipment, or just the name of the card. So you've got all these filters up here. And you just create your deck in here. Once you have created your deck, it will look a little something like this. So I've got all my equipment, the weapons, hero, and cards that are in the deck. Once you have made your deck, you just simply need to grab the link for your deck, and then we'll head over to Talishar. So this is Talishar.net. The link will be in the description below for you. Um, you don't need an account to play, but I would recommend one just because it makes it a whole lot easier. Because um, you can do things like save your lists. So once you've copied your link in once, you can add it to your favorites so the deck list is saved for next time. Um, mine's already here. Um, so you can add in and save your lists. So if you're just using a saved list, you don't need to put anything in here, you just select the one. However, if you want to use a different list that isn't saved, you copy the link in. You can call your name whatever you want, or you can just leave it blank. Um, if you leave it blank, as it says, it'll just default to game and then a massive number. You can then go and select the format that you're playing in, so whether it's Blitz, Constructed, Commoner, whatever format that you're playing. Then you can set it to public or private. If you set it to public, anyone can join. So you can actually um, play it just against um, anybody on the internet. So these are games that are running now that I can join in on. Um, I can watch other people's games if uh, I should so fancy. Um, but if you don't want other people joining, you can set it to private just to play with your friends. Or you can set it to single player, which I'm going to do now just to show you how the put in the face works. Um, which basically is almost like fish bowling. Um, so you're not playing against anybody, you're just seeing how your deck draws. And you'll just click to create a game when you've gone through all that. And then you'll be greeted with this screen. To show us you, so you can select what equipment that you're using. So I want my Snapdragons normally. And then you can select if you want to use all the cards in your deck, or if you just want to cut, take a few out, you just click on them to remove them if you don't want certain things. If you've got a sideboard. Once you've selected all your cards and all your equipment, you just click Submit Deck. And then this is takes you into the game. So, as you can see, it doesn't look as fantastic as or as in-depth as the um, tabletop version. Um, but if you put your cursor over anything, it'll show you it in big. So you can see what you're doing. Green, sh green highlight will show you if you can actually use whatever it is you're wanting to use at this moment. Um, being Lexi, you just simply um, use the, to use the bow, for instance. You would select your action first. So you click on it to say I want to use it. And then, when I'm using the ability, then you pay for it. So I'm going to pay for it with my blue witness bite, which automatically goes to my pitch zone and also tells me I've got two left. And I could cast my Art of War now, but I'm not going to. So it gives you the opportunity to use your instant 
but I'm not going to, so I'm just going to pass to the next bit. Then I choose a card to use my ball with. I've only got one arrow, so I'm going to use Frost Luck. Select Manila to ask you what mold I want from my Volta. So I'm going to pick it with Go again. So that's that ability activated, and then I can cast my attack from my arsenal just by clicking on it again. And then it'll, because I can fuse it because I've got my Winter Spine, and it, it, it goes through and it takes you through. It also shows you the rules as well, so you can see the rules, the comprehensive rulebook of what's going on. But I'm going to fuse it, and it will reveal that to my opponent if I have one. And then again, it gives you the opportunity to cast an instant, but I'm not going to. And then that goes onto the combat chain. And now we'll obviously get a chance to block. Obviously, because it's just a, a stand in bot, it won't. Um, and then I can again cast my instant. If you don't want to cast your instant or use anything else, just click the pass. You can also use the space bar. And it will show you. The combat chain as well. Uh, then I'm going to cast my Winter's Bite, bring the Scarlet card. Combat chain, as you can see, the chains disappeared. It will do most things automatically for you, so it, it's automatically put an energy counter on my tunic, despite the fact that I've forgotten about it. So it is, it does kind of hold your hand a little bit. Once you're done, you just click pass. Then it will ask you to choose a card to Arsenal. That's so his turn. So he's it auto the single player does auto attacks you with its weapon, which is this. Um, so I get a chance to block. So upon blocking, you can either pass and pass pass just blocking phase and go to reactions, or you can pass block and reactions. I'm just going to block with my searing shot. So your block show here and it'll calculate what it is for you. you Done, you just click the pass button. Choose a reaction. I can choose things to do things at instant speed, but again I'm not going to. And then it's back to my turn. And then you just simply play out your game until someone wins. Um Obviously against the bot it has infinite health, so I'm never going to win. But so when I'm done, let's click and see to get out of it. If I was playing against a real player, it will also give me a readout of some of the stats from the game. So it will tell me how many times I played each card, um, how much damage was dealt each turn. And this gives you kind of an overview of how your deck's performing, which is um, very useful. And you can see your opponent's stats as well, if there were any. Obviously I didn't have an opponent. And that is all there is to Talent Show. So, I hope this video was useful. Um, please let me know in the comments which one you prefer. Personally, I prefer the tabletop variety. Um, I like the interface better, I find it runs smoother, and it's just generally a better experience. But this does have the advantage of being free and no need to have downloads, and also the ability to match make with other people um, if you haven't got a friend to play with at, them at that time. But let me know which one you like. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope it was useful. If it is, remember to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any more content from me. That's Craig Math at Tactical Chaos Gaming. Bye bye.